Hello and welcome back to Invincible Asia. I'm George Clark and today I get to check out the Jet Li classic Black Mask released on Blu-ray by Eureka Video. Don't forget folks, before we go any further, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, ring the bell, and all that jibber jabber, and thank you very much for supporting Invincible Asia. Well this is a pretty exciting time isn't it for Jet Li fans and for fans of Hong Kong action cinema, now the Black Mask is hitting, officially hitting UK shores on Blu-ray. This is amazing and it from just glancing at what's involved in this, there's so much to love here. Uh, of course, I'm going to quickly take it back to where it all began. Uh, I did initially have this movie on a bootleg video I had ordered from the back of Impact magazine off one of those uh, private collectors that was selling. Uh, that is long gone. Uh, I got rid of that a long, long time ago. And then I did get the, I think it was the Universe Hong Kong DVD, um, which I, I kind of wish I still had, but... I had to convince my husband that I was buying more movies because I was selling some and that happened to become one of them whenever I upgraded, initially upgraded Black Mask to Blu-ray. I'm going to share those with you in a wee minute. Um, but I do wish I'd kept hold of that. Now, just to really show the contrast in difference there is because that DVD I used to really enjoy watching, but next to the Blu-ray versions that uh, I'm going to show you, it was like nothing. So I was kind of in a way, I was okay getting rid of it. But as a collector, I do miss it. Uh, then uh, I find on eBay an X rental of the VHS release here, the UK VHS release, running at 83 minutes. Uh, this is a, vid a video that I never went down the road of hiring out. Uh, again, I had the bootleg version of the Hong Kong uh, cut, so I had it in its... Cantonese with English subtitles. I didn't really want to go down the English dub route at this point But this is a pretty cool VHS and I found it for a, a nice price on eBay And I thought it would be really good to have leading up to this uh, So then then the first upgrade onto blu-ray came through the Nova Media release this beautiful um, Packaged release of Black Mask and Black Mask 2 City of Masks. It's a really nice collection and again Putting that quality up against the uh, the Hong Kong DVD is what blew me away. Get some postcards in there and it opens up to have both discs on board there, which is quite nice. It was a really, really, really nice release. I really liked that. But then, then, of course, there's always something else, isn't there? <laughs> then uh, the Vengeance Pack in Germany put together this gorgeous 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 media book with no less than four versions of the movie here which was just incredible and of course as with everything I order from Germany it costs a small fortune but like this is absolutely a 100% worth the pennies it is probably one of the most gorgeous releases I've ever seen of the movie you got two blu-rays and two dvds there poster, uh, booklet, of course, the media book itself, and lots of extras, and as I say, four different versions. Will the Eureka, bar the packaging, will the Eureka video copy top this? Who knows, but let's find out, let's find out. There's a lot of black masks going on here. Of course, yes, there was Black Mask 2, City of Masks. Uh, there was Shadow Mask, starring Fan Su Wong, uh, from Philip Co, which was later released as Black Mask 3 in some territories. And then there was Black Mask versus Gambling Mastermind, which I ha I actually have here. It's a pretty shit movie. I mean, it has fun moments, but it's, it's really not worth checking out there. Anyway, let's get stuck into this 1996 classic. Look at that, so easy to open. And looky, looky, beautifully designed, I think from Go Kaiju, uh, if I'm right. I'll have to double check that, of course. But very, very nice. And again, very different to everything else that I've shown you there. I mean, it's really sticking with the colors of the movie, which is black, green, and red. That is 
pretty much the three solid colors of this movie. Uh, it's not a pretty movie to look at. It's some beautiful shots and, and really well shot, uh, very comic book in style, but it's not a beautiful movie to look at. <laughs> Often considered the Batman of Hong Kong cinema. Anyway, let me share with you what is included in this because there's quite a bit here uh, and I'm seeing more and more as I'm looking at it and I'm getting more and more excited to share with you here, okay? Uh, okay, special two disc Blu-ray edition. And this is released on both sides of the pond as well. Of course, Eureka video now stretching out there into the United States and North America. And this, I, I believe, is their debut title, which is fantastic. So keep an eye out for that over there also. So you have a limited edition O-Card slipcase featuring new artwork by uh, Gokaiju, yes. Fully uncut Hong Kong version, uh, which is rarely seen um, in the UK, I, as far as I'm aware. Uh, fully uncut Hong Kong version presented in 1080p from a 2K restoration. The international export version presented in 1080p from a 2K restoration. Uh, Cantonese DTS HD MA 5.1 and optional Cantonese stereo audio on the Hong Kong version. Uh, original English dub and alternate US release English dub on the export version. Those I will check out because this of course must be the English dub and then there's the alternate US uh, whenever they repackaged it after Jet Li became a big hit in the States there. Optional English subtitles newly translated for this for, re for this release on the Hong Kong version. Uh, brand new audio commentary on the Hong Kong version by Asian film expert Frank Chang. Uh, brand new audio commentary on the export version by action cinema experts Mike Leder and Arna Venema. Brand new interview with stuntman Mike Lambert, which is fantastic. Mike's not in this a massive amount, but he does get one of the most memorable fights uh, up against Jet Li, of course. Uh, bu 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 and did have a rematch with him in Danny the Dog, I do believe, if I can remember correctly. I think it was Danny the Dog or Kiss the Dragon. Can't really remember. One of the two. Anyway, brand new interview with film critic Andrew Heskins from Eastern Kicks. Brand new interview with Leon Hunt, author of Kung Fu Cult Masters. Uh, archival Making Off featurette. Uh, trailers plus a limited edition booklet featuring new writings by James Oliver and Simon Abrams. Now on the limited edition bonus disc we have the Taiwan cut, the Taiwanese cut, uh, extended version of the film prepared exclusively for release in Taiwan. The extended cut, so we do have four versions on here which is just fucking wonderful, a version of the film that incorporates all unique footage from various releases. Uh, original Mandarin audio and optional alternate Mandarin audio with remixed audio and effects on the Taiwanese version and Cantonese audio on the extended version. Oh, it's a bit of a mouthful. Most of the extras there seem to be on disc one with the two extra versions of the movie being on disc two. Uh, fantastic. Wow. Okay, uh, excited to get stuck into this and excited to get in and check those out. It slides open there, of course, with the alternate cover. One of the more seen uh, covers there, which is obviously Jet jumping up on the walls in the tunnels uh, to avoid being electrocuted, as you, if you can remember. If you haven't seen this movie, I mean, where have you been, honestly? Okay, well, this is nice. It's a shame they didn't put different artwork on the two discs there. So here we have, inside we have the booklet here, which covers the Hong Kong DVD artwork I remember having. Uh, disc 1 and Disc 2. Yeah, but just a shame they didn't kind of do maybe different artwork there, which would have been nice. Not a biggie, it just would have been nice. Uh, sliding this out though. Okay, okay. <laughs> Not really an, uh, an alternate uh, cover or the choice to turn it around. But here we have the, the full spread there. And on the inside, hopefully there's not too much glare. It's really just the picture of Jet in the chair and a full black cover over here. They didn't really focus a lot on Jet in the chair. I mean, it's a really cool shot, but there wasn't really a lot of him in there. It does make it seem like it was something else. And I'm really surprised that that shot itself has never been used in any of the artwork. Any of the artwork that I've seen or have, of course, uh, let me pop out that booklet and oh, it's a big, it's quite a thick one actually. So here we have that uh, nice DVD cover artwork or poster art I should say from Hong Kong which is cool and on the other side a shot of Jet. 
I mean, this has really become one of his most iconic roles, and it is fantastic, but it's not perfect. There's still something about Black Mask that really isn't perfect. Uh, of course, there's four versions here that I'm going to joyfully get through. I'm guessing they're the same four versions that are on the Vengeance Pack release, so I will have seen them, but it's been some time since I last watched that, so it is going to be good to go back to them and check everything out, especially with the new extra features, the new audio commentaries, of course, there, um, and all the new interviews and stuff. But that's everything. Oh, no, it's not. I haven't even looked at the book. Jesus, I'm so excited to actually get in and watch. <laughs> Let me check this book out. <laughs> or oh, you're not going to get a peek. Uh, okay, let's see. But yes, again, the cinematography uh, is fantastic. It is very comic booky. I am a huge fan of Daniel Lee as a director. I always have been. Uh, a lot of people criticize him for being far too arty. But I feel you have to be. I mean, why, why would you want every director being the same? Uh, and I think the pairing of him and Choi Hark here is really good. So before this, he had kind of made his debut with What Price Survival, which was a fantastic film. Uh, check that out, and I really hope that that gets a Blu-ray release sometime soon. Uh, that, of course, got the attention of Choi Hark, who had him direct uh, one of the Wong Fei Hung TV movies with Vincent Chow. Uh, I think the Eight Masters or the Eight Assassins, sorry. Uh, one and it just went on from there but I really love Daniel's work I feel he is kind of um, underrated to some degree I love 14 blades I think dragon blade is criminally underrated but three dragons white vengeance and so much more there's a lot to love with Daniel Lee anyway that's everything I am gonna go um, watch as much as I possibly can with this release and come right back to let you know what I think So just back after checking out the awesomely gorgeous Eureka Video Blu-ray release of Black Mass. This is absolutely well worth picking up guys. Honestly, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. And much like the Vengeance Pack release on that media book that I showed you, it does have the same four versions there. And all of which kind of are very similar in quality. Although I have to say, I feel that this was slightly better. I don't think I've ever seen the movie look as gorgeous, but you've really got to dig deep to, to really refine those differences there. I don't feel it's important because what the Vengeance Pack put out was absolutely gorgeous, but this is equally as stunning. And even Mike himself said in his audio commentary, he had never seen this movie look as good as it does here. I have to agree with him. Uh, so I watched, first of all, the uncut Hong Kong version. A bit ironic considering there's an extended version and uh, the longer Taiwanese version, but the uncut Hong Kong version, which was fantastic to see again. This is the movie or the version I've really watched the most. Uh, the Frank Jang audio commentary was a great listen. Uh, definitely well worth checking out there. Very informative, got a lot to say about the movie itself. Then I watched the export version uh, with Mike and Arna's audio commentary. Uh, very, very different, of course. They always deliver very different commentaries. A lot of fun, great to listen to. and. Obviously a lot of chuckles along the way there, but I want to go back and check out that export version again with the US dub. I don't think I've ever watched it with the US dub as such, and I did want to kind of compare those to um, the UK and the US dub just to see how each of them sounded there. Uh, then you've got a Taiwanese version, the extended Taiwanese version, which ran for about 101 minutes. So it wasn't much longer than the uncut Hong Kong version as such um, but that's on disc 2 of course and it looked fantastic again that print was absolutely gorgeous as was the extended version and that ran for again probably just another minute longer probably just over 102 minutes in length I, I find it very tricky I was kind of getting tired watching the four movies in a row so I found it very tricky to try and figure out what the newly added scenes were again I had picked them out before but it was tricky enough for me at this point to really refine what was added uh, <laughs> or missing from the earlier ones. But the all four movies looked absolutely fantastic. The restorations are absolutely gorgeous and well worth checking out, all four of them. Uh, then we've got, with the special features, we have the fantastic Mike Lambert interview. Really lovely guy, fantastic to listen to. Uh, 30 minutes in length, I would say, put together by Arna and Crazy from Kong. Uh, and it was it was a fantastic piece. Such a great addition to have on here. Again, someone we haven't really 
heard a lot from or seen on a lot of special features so this is definitely one that is well worth checking out there then we have andrew heskins from eastern kicks his ran for about just under nine minutes in length again a very good interview it was good to watch um pretty much it was just him chatting to the cam about the film which was good enough that was fine and then you have leon hunt uh doing his piece to camera as well and it runs for just under I think it was just under 18 minutes in length, but again, a great listen to. Each of them have their own input, their own memories, and their own fondness of the movie. So it's all good, always good to hear them talk about that. But that Mike Lambert interview is well worth checking out. Uh, probably the first extra feature you should go to, if I'm being honest. Uh, what else we got on here? We have got the archival making of documentary. Uh, some of these I have seen uh, before, I think on the Vengeance Pack uh release it has this also i didn't go back and check that out i should have done to clarify i'm nearly sure it was there to be honest uh it ran for just under 20 minutes and it's all right it's nothing too spectacular it hasn't been restored in any sense but it's just an all right making of doc um of course it comes with english subs which is very very handy uh then you have got the hong kong theatrical trailer which ran for per two minutes in length but it was pretty cool to see. I really liked what the uh, the edit of this Hong Kong trailer. Then you've got the US trailer at two minutes, which was good fun. Uh, then you have a second US trailer for under two minutes, um, which was pretty cool. It was released in 4.3, so it was quite different to see uh, in comparison to the other one. And then you have the US home video trailer, which ran for about one minute. Um, and it was just okay. I mean, it was, it was more of a teaser as such but i mean that's everything that's on disc one as i say disc two is pretty much just the taiwanese version and the extended version but all your extras are here on disc one as you can see i mean guys this is a packed release it is fantastic to finally get this out uh, across the uk and ireland and as i said and mike said we've never seen the movie look as good as it does a beautiful beautiful piece the movie's not for everyone daniel lee's not for everyone but this is an absolute double thumbs up and again, I am super glad that it's in my collection. Coming out soon from Eureka Video, I'm George Clark. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your Kung Fu, and I'll speak to you soon. So thank you once again for watching another video here on Invincible Asia. Don't forget you can check out hundreds of others here on the channel. You can also show your continued support by heading over to my new merch store or by checking out InvincibleAsia.com where you can read my full movie reviews and follow me on Instagram at InvincibleAsia. Until next time though, enjoy your Kung Fu and I will see you soon.